One of the things we have to understand within the context of the wall and parse out some of the things is that when Trump says wall, you have to understand he's talking about number eight on his immigration policy that, he, that the speech he did in 2016. He's talking about the biometric entry exit visa tracking system that he said is going to be on land, air, and sea. In my administration, we will ensure that this system is in place. And I will tell you, it will be on land, it will be on sea, it will be in air, we will have a proper tracking system. And this is a policy that was dreamed up after the events of 9-11, essentially. So, and it, nothing good came after 9-11, okay? Nothing good came after 9-11. And these policies, I often say it, the policies that are aimed towards migrants, terrorists, or that is for our safety, is often turned around against the American citizen. You know, now we have the national ID card, you know, the travel ID. We have biometrics entering into our system where now you have to have a RFID chip, a eye scan, a thumbprint, in order to do certain things things. That's what we're, we're talking about. We're talking about the incorporation of this. And in order for them to build up the system, they're not just going to build up a system against Americans first. They typically, they tiptoe around, they eat around the edges of it first. So they say this is for terrorism, or this is for your safety, or this is for illegal migrants, when in reality they're building a system to scale it up so they can later uh, apply it to, you know, pick your poison. And I think that's what we see. So when Trump says wall, yes, I support a physical impediment, a barrier when it comes to border security. I do not support support this tracking system that ultimately I believe is going to be turned around on the American citizens and even if we don't see uh, this type of technology enforced at state lines because I, 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 it was just a an idea I'm teasing out because like we talked about with the Bowie High School incident here uh, the verbiage that allowed this stuff to go on where American citizens could get the shakedown if they were caught within whatever mileage of the border okay could you imagine if to keep migrants in the sanctuary cities where Trump is flying them into. Could you imagine if they started enforcing soft forms of border patrol at state lines and could, I don't know, give American citizens or, you know, at their discretion, at the agent's discretion, can give them the shakedown if they find an individual within, you know, whatever mileage they determine from a state line now in an effort to keep the migrants that they're shipping or importing to these uh, cities um, and in order to keep them under control. And it's crazy because when Trump was talking about in that same speech where he was talking about immigration, he was saying how he was going to deport everyone day one. And we, we know, we know they make promises they don't, they don't keep and they say things to throw red meat to their base and things change. But it's, it's almost, it's, it smacks in the face of, okay, we're going to get these people out of our country to now because the border facilities are full, we're going to ship them into our country. That's, that sounds like more of a catch and release than the policy that he, uh, decries as catch and release. So that's very interesting. I think, needless to say, we should just scrutinize the narratives around what they frame for our safety or what's against terrorism or immigration. We just need to look at these guys a little bit more because it's a hallmark of a politician to be deceptive. And it's not always to be deceptive to go along with the get along. You know, a lot of people think if we just give Trump, you know, a little more rope, he'll rein this, he'll rein this thing in. And I think you know, if we give him a little more rope, he might end up hanging us. And again, it's not that I have anything against Trump personally. I've said it before. I don't think these guys get up there without having capitulated some way to those power pyramid players. Um, I'll continue to reiterate it. California Carter, signing off. Number eight, we will finally complete the biometric entry exit visa tracking system, which we need desperately. For years, Congress has required biometric entry-exit visa tracking systems, but it has never been completed. The politicians are all talk, no action, never happens, never happens. Hillary Clinton, all talk. Unfortunately, when there is action, it's always the wrong decision. Do you ever notice? In my administration, we will ensure that this system is in place. And I will tell you, it will be on land, it will be on sea, it will be in air. We will have a proper tracking system. <laughs> Approximately half of new illegal immigrants came on temporary visas and then never, ever left. Why should they? Nobody's telling them to leave. Stay as long as you want. We'll take care of you. Beyond violating our laws, visa overstays 
pose, and they really are a big problem, pose a substantial threat to national security. The 9-11 Commission said that this tracking system should be a high priority and would have assisted law enforcement and intelligence officials in August and September 2001 in conducting a search for two of the 9-11 hijackers that were in the United States on expired visas.